Pakistani cuisine Urdu, Pakistani parkwan can be characterized by a blend of various regional cooking traditions of the Indian subcontinent, Central Asia as well as elements from its Mughal legacy. The various cuisines are derived from Pakistan's ethnic and cultural diversity. Cuisine from the eastern provinces of Punjab and Sindh are characterized as highly seasoned and spicy, which is characteristic of flavors of the Indian subcontinent. Cuisine from the western and northern provinces of Azad Jammu and Kashmir, Baluchistan, Gilgit Baltistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the tribal areas are characterized as mild which is characteristic of flavors of the Central Asian region. International cuisine and fast food are popular in the cities. Blending local and foreign recipes fusion food, such as Pakistani Chinese cuisine, is common in large urban centers. Furthermore, as a result of lifestyle changes, ready-made masala mixes mixed and ready-to-use spices are becoming increasingly popular. However, given the diversity of the people of Pakistan, cuisines generally differ from home to home and may be different from the mainstream Pakistani cuisine. Historical influences Pakistani national cuisine is the inheritor of Indo-Aryan and Iranic culture and Muslim culinary traditions. The earliest formal civilizations were the Mohenjo-Daro and Harappan civilizations in Pakistan. At around 3000 BCE, sesame, eggplant, and humped cattle were domesticated in the Indus Valley, and spices like turmeric, cardamom, black pepper and mustard were harvested in the region concurrently. For at least a thousand years, wheat and rice formed the basic foodstuff in the Indus Valley. The arrival of Islam, Aslam within the Indian subcontinent, influenced the local cuisine to a great degree. Since Muslims are forbidden to eat pork, swear or consume alcohol, halal, lal dietary guidelines are strictly observed. Pakistanis focus on other types of meat, such as beef, chicken and fish, with vegetables, as well as traditional fruit and dairy. The influence of Central Asian, South Asian and Middle Eastern cuisine in Pakistani food is ubiquitous. Elements Pakistani dishes are known for having aromatic and sometimes spicy flavors. Some dishes contain liberal amounts of oil, which contribute to a richer, fuller mouthfeel and flavor. Brown cardamom, green cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, mace, and black pepper are the most commonly used spices in the making of a wide variety of dishes throughout Pakistan. Cumin seeds, chili powder, turmeric and bay leaves are also very popular. In the Punjab province, it is further diluted with coriander powder. Garam masala a mixture of aromatic spices is a very popular blend of spices used in many Pakistani dishes. Regional cuisines <inaudible> Baluchistan Balochi cuisine is the food and cuisine of the Baloch people from the Baluchistan region, comprising the Pakistani Baluchistan province, the Sistan and Baluchistan province in Iran and Baluchistan, Afghanistan. Baloch food has a regional variance in contrast to the many cuisines of Pakistan and Iran. Topic: <inaudible> Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Fada. Rice dishes and kebabs feature prominently in Pashtun cuisine. Lamb is eaten more often in Pashtun cuisine than any other Pakistani cuisines. Rice halim, chapli kebab, tikka, and mutton karahi are the most famous dishes. Historical variations include Peshawari cuisine. The Pashtun and Balochi cuisines are traditionally non-spicy. Kalash Hunza Topic: Kashmir. Kashmiri cuisine is the cuisine of the Kashmir Valley region. Rice is the staple food of Kashmiris and has been so since ancient times. Meat, chicken, mutton, beef, or fish, along with rice, is the most popular food item in Kashmir. Kashmiris consume meat voraciously. 
Topic: <laughs> Punjab. Since Punjabi identity is considered geographical and cultural, almost all inhabitants of Punjab follow some variations within the cuisine, but on the other hand show many similarities together. This cuisine then falls into the broad category of Punjabi cuisine. Regional cuisine is mutual with some differences in many regions, including the South Punjab regions. <laughs> South Punjab. Sindh Sindhi cuisine refers to the native cuisine of the Sindhi people from Sindh, Pakistan. Sindhi cuisine is considered to be spicy and consists of a variety of chicken dishes. Karachi The cuisine of Karachi is similar to the Mughlai cuisine, which is influenced by Hyderabadi cuisine. Topic: Meal structure. Pakistanis generally eat three meals a day, which are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. During the evening, many families have tea, which goes along with baked, fried snacks from a local bakery or prepared at home. During the Islamic holy month of Ramadan, the eating patterns change to sahur and iftar. It is considered proper to eat only with the right hand as per Islamic tradition also a tradition in many other Asian cultures. Many Pakistani families, particularly when guests are too many to fit at a table, eat sitting at a cloth known as dastarkhan, which is spread out on the floor. In Pakistan, many street eateries serve food on a takht, in a style similar to what is seen in Afghanistan. A takht is a raised platform, where people eat their food sitting cross-legged, after taking their shoes off. Most Pakistanis used to eat on a takht. Pakistanis often eat with their hands, scooping up solid food along with sauce with a piece of baked bread naan or rice. Breakfast A typical Pakistani breakfast, locally called nashta, nasht consists of eggs boiled, scrambled, fried, omelette, a slice of loaf bread or roti, parathas, shirmal with tea or lassi, kulcha with chole, keema minced meat, fresh seasonal fruits mangoes, apples, melons, bananas, etc., milk, honey, butter, jam, shami kebab or nuts. Sometimes breakfast includes baked goods like bakarkani and rusks. During holidays and weekends, halwa pori and chickpeas are sometimes eaten. In Punjab, sarsan ka saag mustard leaves and maakai ki roti cornbread is a local favorite. Punjabi people also enjoy kachori, a savory pastry filled with cheese. Pakistan is not unlike many other Asian nations, in the sense that meat dishes are eaten as breakfast, especially on holidays. A traditional Sunday breakfast might be siri pei the head and feet of lamb or cow or nahari a dish which is cooked overnight to get the meat extremely tender. The name, nahari, comes from the Arabic word, nihar, meaning, day, or, day break. Many people used to take, bong, shank curry, in their Sunday brunch. Topic. Lunch. A typical Pakistani lunch consists of meat curry along with rice or a pile of roti. Dal chawal is among the most commonly taken dishes at lunch. Breads such as roti or naan are usually served for dinner, but have become more common during the day so that rice may be served for dinner. Popular lunch dishes may include aloo gosht meat and potato curry or any vegetable with mutton. Chicken dishes like chicken karahi are also popular. Alternatively, roadside food stalls often sell just lentils and tandoori rotis, or masala stews with chapatis. People who live near the main rivers also eat fish for lunch, which is sometimes cooked in the tandoori style. <laughs> Dinner Dinner is considered the main meal of the day as the whole family gathers for the occasion. Food which requires more preparation and which is more savory such as biryani, nahari, pulao, koft, kebabs, keema, korma are prepared. Lentils are also a dinnertime staple. These are served with roti or naan along with yogurt, pickle and salad. 
The dinner may sometimes be followed by fresh fruit, or on festive occasions, traditional desserts like kheer, gulab jamun, shahi tukre, gajraila, kulfi or ras malai. Topic snacks and fast foods Pakistani snacks comprise food items in Pakistan that are quick to prepare, spicy, usually fried, and eaten in the evening or morning with tea or with any one of the meals as a side dish. A given snack may be part of a local culture, and its preparation and popularity can vary from place to place. These snacks are often prepared and sold by hawkers on footpaths, railway stations and other such places, although they may also be served at restaurants. Some typical snacks are dahi bala, aloo tikki, chaat and samosa chaat, bun kebab, chana masala, chapli kebab, shami kebab, sikh kebab, malai tikka kebab, meat and yogurt, rishami kebab, pakora, and papar. Others include kachori, pakoras, either neem pakoras or besan chickpea, pakoras, gol gape, samosas, vegetable or beef, bile puri, dal seu, panapuri, and egg rolls. Nuts, such as pistachios and pine nuts, are also often eaten at home. <laughs> Main courses In Pakistan, main courses are usually served with wheat bread either roti or naan or rice. Salad is generally taken as a side dish with the main course, rather than as an appetizer beforehand. Assorted fresh fruit or sometimes desserts are consumed at the end of a meal. Meat plays a much more dominant role in Pakistani food, compared to other South Asian cuisines. According to a 2003 report, an average Pakistani consumed three times more meat than an average Indian. Of all the meats, the most popular are goat, mutton, beef and chicken, which are particularly sought after as the meats of choice for kebab dishes or the classic beef shank dish nahari. Seafood is generally not consumed in large amounts, though it is very popular in the coastal areas of Sindh and the Makran coast of Baluchistan and was a dominant element of the cuisine of the former East Pakistan now Bangladesh. Curries, with or without meat, combined with local vegetables, such as bitter gourd, cauliflower, eggplant, okra, cabbage, potatoes, rutabaga, saag, and chili peppers are most common and cooked for everyday consumption. A typical example is aloo ghosht, literally, potatoes and meat, a homestyle recipe consisting of a spiced meat and potato stew, and is ubiquitously prepared in many households. Korma is a classic dish of Mughlai origin made of either chicken or mutton, typically eaten with naan or other bread, and is very popular in Pakistan. <inaudible> <inaudible> Vegetable and legume dishes Vegetable and legume dishes are very popular in Pakistan. Dishes such as bangan bartha and sarsan da saag are typical examples eaten in most homes. Meat dishes The meat dishes in Pakistan include bovine, ovine, poultry and seafood dishes. The meat is usually cut in 3 cm cubes and cooked in a stew. The minced meat is used for kebabs, keema, and other meat dishes. The meat dishes are also cooked with pulses, legumes and rice. Barbecue and kebabs Meat and grilled meat have played an important role in Pakistan for centuries. Kebabs are a staple item in Pakistani cuisine today, and one can find countless varieties of kebabs all over the country. Each region has its own varieties of kebabs, but some like the Sikh kebab, chicken tikka, and shami kebab are especially popular throughout the country and in some other parts of South Asia. Pulses Various kinds of pulses or legumes, make up an important part of Pakistani cuisine. While lentils called dal and chickpeas called chana are popular ingredients in homestyle cooking, they are traditionally considered to be inexpensive food sources. Because of this reason, they are typically not served to guests who are invited for dinner or during special occasions. Combining meat with lentils and pulses, whether in simple preparations or in elaborate dishes such as halim. Beans such as black-eyed peas and kidney beans are sometimes served in a tomato-based masala sauce, especially in Punjab. Kebab 
Topic: <inaudible> Rice dishes. Pakistan is a major exporter and consumer of rice. Bismati is the most popular type of rice consumed in Pakistan. Dishes made with rice include many varieties of pulao. Mosh pulao, a sweet and sour pulao baked with mung beans, apricots and bulgur, a kind of roughly milled cracked wheat. Exclusively vegetarian. Matar pulao, pulao made with peas. Murg pulao, chicken and stock added. Creates a brown rice. Yakni pulao, meat and stock added. Creates a brown rice. Kabuli pala, is an Afghan dish, which is popular in Pashtun-dominated regions in Pakistan such as the tribal areas, Fada, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province in northwest Pakistan, and Baluchistan in the southwest Pakistan. It is a variety of pilaf, consisting of steamed rice mixed with raisins, carrots, and lambiriyani is a very popular dish in Pakistan, and has many varieties, such as Lahori and Sindhi biryani. Tahiri, which is a vegetarian form of biryani, is also popular. All of the main dishes except those made with rice, are eaten alongside bread. To eat, a small fragment of bread is torn off with the right hand and used to scoop and hold small portions of the main dish. Pickles made out of mangoes, carrots, lemon, etc. are also commonly used to further spice up the food. In the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, feasts using mountains of spiced rice combined with pieces of slowly roasted lamb are often served for guests of honor. These kind of pulaos often contain dried fruit, nuts, and whole spices such as cloves, saffron and cardamom. Kabuli pala is very popular in Pashtun-dominated regions in western Pakistan. Such rice dishes have their origins in Central Asia and the Middle East. Varieties of bread Pakistanis eat breads made of wheat flour as a staple part of their daily diet. Pakistan has a wide variety of breads, often prepared in a traditional clay oven called a tandoor. The tandoori style of cooking is common throughout rural and urban Pakistan, and also has strong roots in neighboring India, Iran and Afghanistan. Some of these are Chapati, most common bread made in urban homes, where a tandoor is not available. Chapatis are cooked over a flat or slightly convex dark-colored pan known as tava. Chapatis are made of whole wheat flour and are thin and unleavened. Tortillas are probably the most common analogous to chapatis, though chapatis are slightly thick. A variant, known as Ramali roti lit. Handkerchief bread, is very thin and very large in size. Kandahara naan, long, salty naan originating in western Pakistan and commonly eaten with peshawari karahi or chapli kebab. Kulcha, this is a type of naan usually eaten with chickpeas and potatoes and mostly popular in urban centers of Punjab. Naan, in Urdu, the national language of Pakistan, the word naan means bread. Unlike chapatis, naans are slightly thicker, typically leavened with yeast and mainly made with white flour. Some varieties like rogani and peshwari naan may also be sprinkled with sesame seeds. Naans are seldom, if ever, made at home since they require tandoor-based cooking and require prep work. Numerous varieties of plain, as well as stuffed naans are available throughout Pakistan and each region or city can have their own specialty. Naan is a versatile bread and is eaten with almost anything. For instance, sada naan or plain naan is often served with siri pei cow's head and trotters or nahari slow-cooked beef stew for breakfast in many parts of the country. Paratha, a flat, layered bread made with ghee and generally cooked on a tava. However, a tandoor based version is also common in rural areas. Parathas are very similar to pastry dough. Parathas most likely originated in the Punjab, where a heavy breakfast of parathas with freshly churned butter and buttermilk was commonly consumed by the farmers to prepare themselves for the hard day of work ahead. However, parathas are now a common breakfast element across the country. Along with the plain layered version, many stuffed versions, such as alu ka paratha, potato stuffed paratha, muli ka paratha, radish stuffed paratha, and kima ka paratha, ground meat stuffed paratha, are popular. Puri, this is a breakfast bread made of white flour and fried. Typically eaten with sweet semolina halwa or gravy made out of chickpeas and potatoes. Puri is a fairly urban concept in Pakistan and puris are not part of rural cuisine anywhere in Pakistan. 
However, halwa puri has now become a favored weekend or holiday breakfast in urban Pakistan, where it is sometimes sold in shift carts or in specialty breakfast shops. Rogani naan lit. Buttered naan it is a preferred variety of naan sprinkled with white sesame seeds and cooked with a small amount of oil. Roti – This bread is extremely popular all over Pakistan. Tandoori rotis are baked in a clay oven, known as a tandoor, and are consumed with just about anything. In rural Pakistan, many houses have their own tandoors, while the ones without it use a communal one. In urban Pakistan, bread shops or nanbai tandoor shops are fairly common and supply fresh, tandoor baked breads to household customers. Shirmal – Saffron flavored traditional flatbread. It is a festive bread prepared with milk and butter with added candied fruits. Shirmal is often a vital part of food served in marriages, along with taftan. It is often sweetened. Taftan, this is a leavened flour bread with saffron and a small amount of cardamom powder baked in a tandoor. The taftan made in Pakistan is slightly sweeter and richer than the one made in neighboring Iran. Desserts Popular desserts include Peshawari ice cream, Sheer Kurma, Kulfi, Faluda, Kheer, Firni, Zarda, Shahi Tukre and Rabri. Sweet meats are consumed on various festive occasions in Pakistan. Some of the most popular are Gulab Jamun, Barfi, Ras Malai, Kalagland, Jalebi and Panjiri. Pakistani desserts also include a long list of halva, such as Multani, Hubshi, and Sohan halva. Kheer made of roasted sevillan vermicelli instead of rice is popular during Eid ul fitr Gajraila is a sweet made from grated carrots, boiled in milk, sugar, and green cardamom, topped with nuts and dried fruit. It is popular in Pakistan, as well as in other parts of South Asia, including Afghanistan. Tea varieties Pakistanis drink a great deal of tea, which is locally called chai. Both black with milk and green teas are popular and there are different varieties common in different parts of Pakistan. In Gilgit Baltistan and Chitral, as well as areas near the Chinese border, salty Tibetan-style butter tea is consumed. Dude paddy chai is made by cooking tea leaves with milk and sugar, sometimes served with cardamom for fragrance. Extremely sweet, this is a local variation of a builder's tea. Kashmiri chai, or noon chai, a pink, milky tea with pistachios and cardamom, is consumed primarily at special occasions, weddings, and during the winter, when it is sold in many kiosks. Sabs chai, or kawa. A green tea often served after every meal in Kashmir, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and the Pashtun belt of Baluchistan, served with saffron and nuts. Sulaimani chai is black tea served with lemon. Beverages Besides tea, there are other drinks that may be included as part of the Pakistani cuisine. All of them are non-alcoholic as the consumption of alcohol is prohibited by Islam. During the 20th century, beverages such as coffee and soft drinks have also become popular in Pakistan. It is very common to have soft drinks nowadays with Pakistani meals. Almond sherbet – sherbet made with almonds Gola ganda – different types of flavors over crushed ice Kashmiri chai, galabi chai, a milky tea known for its pink color, with an either sweet or salty taste. Lassi, milk with yogurt, with an either sweet or salty taste. Lemonade, limu pani. Kewa, green tea with cardamom. Sardai, mixture of different nuts and kishmish. Sathu, famous drink from Punjab. Sherbet, syrup mixed in water. Sherbet e sandal, drink made with the essence of sandal wood. Sakanjabine – lemonade mint is also added sugarcane juice gani ka ras bottle a sweet drink from sindh topic <laughs> halal muslims follow the islamic law that lists foods and drinks that are halal and permissible to consume halal foods are food items that muslims are allowed to eat and drink under islamic dietary guidelines 
The criteria specify both what foods are allowed, and how the food must be prepared. The foods addressed are mostly types of meat, which are allowed in Islam. <inaudible> foreign influences Occasionally, many people in Pakistan have dinner outside at a restaurant with foreign-influenced food, such as Western, Arab and Chinese dishes. Many westernized, Chinese restaurants and fast food outlets are dotted in all urban parts of Pakistan. The Punjab and Sindh provinces, where the majority of urban chains of many American, European and British restaurants have opened in many metropolitan cities, such as Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Hyderabad, Sialkot, Faisalabad, Multan, Rawalpindi, and many others. Marketing and advertisements have made these a haven for social and modern spots for all Pakistanis to try out. Outside Pakistan, Pakistani cuisine is prevalent in countries, where they have large Pakistani communities. The Balti curry is a British dish that is claimed to have origins in the Kashmir region of Pakistan. Pakistani food makes use of fresh hand-pounded masalas, unlike the dried herbs and powders that are used in Indian cooking. Ghee is used, but the main component of the meal or a dish is meat beef, lamb, chicken, goat, or fish, and vegetables are sparingly used. Surprisingly, Pakistani food also makes extensive use of olive oil. Sparingly used vegetables does not mean there is no vegetarian food on the menu. Since the cuisine is very similar to Punjabi style of cooking, tikka, simmered dals, tawa sabzi, and chaat feature here. <laughs> See also